Outside the box with Dr. K. And uh, the topic today is this uh, violin technique is a stroke called sautier or spiccato. Now, um, some of the purists out there will tell me, well, Henrik, uh, sautier and spiccato are two different strokes. And uh, they, they technically are, although um, really depending on which part of the world you are. Um, uh, sautier may be called uh, spiccato, and sometimes spiccato may be called sautier. Um, I was born in Armenia. The tradition there was um, the, the Russian tradition, uh, because Armenia was, for a number of years, was part of the USSR. So, um, growing up, um, I was told that this is spiccato. And sautier will be a similar stroke, but played at the end of the bow, uh, closer to the tip, usually a bit faster. I mean, they're very similar, but I guess to make the bow bounce at the end of the bow, you just need a little more speed. Uh, when I moved to the States, um, I realized that the, the terminology is a little different here. This is often just called sautier, while spiccato is referred to uh, the stroke, similar stroke, down and up, off the, off the string stroke that's played closer to the frog. That. So uh, I'll just refer to that as a sautier for now, um, and um, I'll I'll just go ahead right into the technique. So to play that, I've seen um, some um, suggestions that um, you should learn the sautier by just dropping the bow like this, down and up, and then eventually spinning up. until you get that. I don't teach that way, and I'll explain why. When you drop the bow, you're using your arm to do it mostly, yeah? So it's, it's this kind of a movement. The wrist is mostly stiff. It's just busy holding the bow in the air. Um, I have a different technique where the slow motion and the fast motion use similar muscle movement, similar gestures. And here it is. I place the bow in the middle of um, I, I place the bow in the middle, yeah. um, maybe a little bit above the um, balance point. So this is the balance point of this bow. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I found it right away. Look at that. <laughs> I know this bow by millimeter. It's a great bow, actually. Um, so that's the balance point. So I basically keep my bow at the balance point or above. Above, yeah, towards the tip. And... Um, First placing the bow there, I'm using a wrist movement, and only wrist movement. So down and up, like this. On the down bow, my wrist curves like this, down. On the up, it goes like this. This is exactly opposite of just the regular movement that your arm does when you're bowing. I'll show you an example. If you're playing, um, you know, long bows, the tache. Then on the down bow, you open your wrist out, and on the up bow, you close it in. Uh, with the sautier or spiccato movement, with a fast, I call it the automatic movement, versus manual movement, no pun here, you know, mano means hand or arm, but no pun here intended. So, um, when every note is individually controlled, I just call it a manual, uh, or mechanical if you want. Uh, and when the stroke relies on more of a kind of an automatic movement that I just call it automatic. So sautier or spiccato to me are uh, automatic movements. And to, uh, to get this articulation, to get this bounce, first, um, again, I put the bow here and start playing only with my wrist. I'll play for a few seconds now. bow is really heavy on the string. I'm putting a lot of weight on it. Yeah, I have another video uh, that talks about applying weight on the bow and you know you can go and watch that. I'm going to include um, a, um, 
a link down in the description. So that, and then I spit it up to get that crunch. So this is not a, a stroke that's off the string, not at all. And then I spit up a little bit. The weight is still on, and then I start lightening up the bow stroke. And because of the natural spring of the bow, uh, it starts bouncing a little bit, exactly because there's weight on it. So I'm, I'm applying some weight, and the bow stick is resisting to that weight and starts bouncing. Side note here, your arm needs to be really relaxed for that. If, you, if it's stiff, it probably won't work. Uh, so the movement, again, is more, in my mind, it's more like a down-up movement rather than sideways movement because I'm not really using my forearm as much. Now, when you get into the groove, you can use a little bit of your forearm too, just to give the bow a little more mileage and volume, maybe a little different type of resonance. But it's mostly... Mostly just wrist movement, knuckles uh, work a little bit there. Just to, you know, just a little bit, but it's mostly wrist movement. So, I'll play a little bit more again. I'll start from the beginning one more time. Thing you know, I realized that when I'm speeding up the spiccato or sotilla, my elbow, at the tip of my elbow, uh, just goes up ever slightly, just like maybe about an inch. Uh, that's the gist of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope this will uh, help more or less. And if you have any more uh, more questions or would like more detailed ex detailed 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 explanation of this, please uh, get in touch with me. Uh, I have also provided a link there, so you can get in touch, and uh, I'll be glad to offer um, a uh, more detailed explanation and a personal, you know, an in-person lesson. So um, this was Henry Karapetian at Violin Outside the Box. Please subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.